if you, if you were quite young, and I was quite young, what would we do, knowing all this? What would be our reaction? What would be our, our life, our, our way of earning a livelihood and so on? Yeah, so I've uh, often thought of that. The, for example, I've asked myself, would I go into science again? Yes. Yeah. And uh, I'm not at all certain now, because science does not seem to be relevant to this uh, no, crisis. No, no. They are, on the contrary, they're helping. It makes it worse, yeah. Yes, yeah, they're helping. It, it might help, but it, in fact it isn't, right? So what would you do? I think I would stick to what I'm doing. Well, that would be easy for you. <laughs> for me, quite easy. <laughs> but uh, there are several problems, of course. I don't know if you want to discuss them. If a person is just starting out, he has to make a living, right? Of course. Now, uh, uh, there are very few opportunities now, and uh, most of these are in jobs which are very uh, limited. Limited and unemployed right throughout the world? Mm, yes. I wonder what you would do knowing that the future is grim, very depressing, dangerous, and so uncertain. Where would you begin? Yes, well, I think one would have to stand back from all these particular problems of my own uh, needs and the needs of the people around me. Are you saying one should really forget oneself for the time being? Yes. Even if I did forget myself, and when I look at this world in which I'm going to live, and have a, some kind of career or a profession, and the unemployment, what would I do? This is a problem that I think most young people are facing. Yes, it's clear. Well, have you something that you, that you would suggest? Huh? Is there something you could suggest? Yeah, I think in terms, I don't think in terms of evolution. Yes, I understand that. Uh, that's a point that I was expecting we would discuss. Huh? I was expecting we would discuss that. Yes, I don't think psycholo there is psychological evolution at all. Yes, now we've discussed this quite often, so I think I understand to some extent what you mean, but I think the people who are viewing, new, to uh, new to this or viewing this yes. uh, tape yes. are not going to understand. We'll discuss it, but I want to discuss this whole question, if you will. Why are we concerned about the future? Yes, well, at first... Or yeah. Only the whole future is now. Yes, in some sense, the whole future is now, but yes. we have to make that clear. It goes very much against the whole way of thinking of the tradition of mankind that yes. all of us it have goes, been exposed to. Mankind thinks in terms of evolution, continuance, and Maybe so Maybe we could approach it another way. That is, evolution seems in the present era to be the most natural way to think. And uh, so I would like to ask you, why, what objections do you have to thinking in terms of evolution? Now, could I explain a point that, that has many meanings, this word of evolution? Course, right? Of course. So we are talking psychologically. Yes. Now, the first point is let's d uh, dispose I mean, of physical see, evolution. I mean, uh, acorn yeah. will grow into an oak. Well, also, the species have evolved, for example, from the plants to the yes. animals and yes. to, the, to the man. That would have taken a million years to be what we are. Now, you, you have no question that that has happened, right? No, that has happened. And it, that may, is it may continue to happen. Yes. That's evolution. Yes, now that is a valid process. Of course, that's a valid, natural process. Yes, it takes place in time. Yes. And therefore, in that region, uh, past, present, and future 
are important, right? Yes, obviously. I don't know a certain language. I need time to learn it. Well, also, it takes time to improve the brain. I see if the brain started out small with a certain, yes. uh, and then it got bigger and bigger. bigger. That yes. took a million and years. And become much more complex. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so on. So I, all that needs time. Yes. All that needs movement in space and time. Yes, so you will admit physical time and neurophysiological time. Neurophysiological. Absolutely, of course. Now, but, Any sane man would. Yes, but now most people also admit psychological time, or what we call it, mental time. Right? Yes, I could, that's what we are talking about. Yeah. But that there is such thing as psychological uh, tomorrow, psychological or yesterday. evolution. Yes, now, at first sight, I'm afraid that this will sound strange. You see, that it seems I can remember yesterday, and, I can, and there's tomorrow I can anticipate, and it has happened many times. From yes. You no know, days have yes. succeeded each other, yes. so I do have the experience of time. You see, uh, from yesterday to today to tomorrow, right? Of course, of course. Now you're, that's simple enough. That's simple enough. Now, what is it you're denying? You see, I deny that I will be something, become yeah. better, that I can change and be. But now there are two ways of looking at that. See, one way is, uh, will I intentionally become better because I'm trying? Or secondly, some people feel that evolution is a kind of a natural, inevitable process in which we are being swept along like in a current and we are perhaps becoming better or worse or something is happening to us. Psychologically. Which, yeah, but psychologically, which takes time, uh, which may not be the result of my trying to become better. <laughs> or it may or may not be. Some people may think one way or some another. But are you denying also that there is a sort of a natural psychological evolution as there was a natural biological evolution? I'm denying that, yes. yes. 